I'm standing on a, a small island off the coast of Antarctica. Most people either love or hate Antarctica. And most people who are here love it, otherwise they wouldn't be here. It's an obsession, it's a way of life. Most people, once they've been, they want to go again. Um, the scenery is stunning, the wildlife is incredible. My work with the Climate Project helped get me to Antarctica my first time. And getting me to Antarctica made me realize that this is something I'd like to do for my PhD and as a career, study what's going on down here. I've just spent 10 days sailing across the Drake Passage, the most violent ocean on the planet, to get to Palmer Station, Antarctica. And on the cruise, we were studying the ocean and how it mixes carbon and responds with the uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We would do CTDs. A CTD is this large sensor that gets lowered, sometimes 4,000 meters to the bottom of the ocean and pulled back up. We sample water along the way. The device looks like a large six-shooter. Only there's 24 things on it. Um, and each one of those has some knobs and you attach hoses and it's like milking a giant mechanical cow. We also have sensors on the boat that are measuring the carbon dioxide flux in the atmosphere and we can compare the carbon in the atmosphere and the carbon in the ocean and whichever one has more will sort of pass it to the other. The Drake Passage can be a challenging place to work. There were some days where um, anything that wasn't tied down was getting thrown off of shelves or slid around on the floor and it's hard to stand up. Initially I wasn't going to get involved in the climate project because I worked in a lab that provided a lot of the data to Al Gore for his movie. A couple months later I found out that Al Gore was offering to train people to give the movie live for him. So I decided to apply, I got accepted, and I've been a part of it ever since. I've given I don't know, maybe a hundred presentations to four or five thousand people everywhere from New York City, inner city high schools to the United Nations to the South Pole. I've had people stand up and yell at me and walk out because they didn't like what I was saying, but mostly people say I've, I've learned something. And uh, some of those people have followed up months or years later and spoken to me about changes that they've made and investments they've made in, in their way of life and their home and their car and you know, just being made aware of this um, through speaking with me. We know what we need to know, which is that uh, we're causing changes and we need to stop causing these changes. It's important to understand more about what's going on, uh, understand what will happen at a scientific level, but the next step is political and business. There's a large, quite important conference coming up in Copenhagen, and this is really uh, the, the world's chance to stand up and do what's right. Businesses need to decide that they will make money addressing this, and uh, governments need to mandate that certain things which shouldn't be happening stop happening.